Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm Steven and today I'm going to help you fix a problem that you might experience when you want to connect to a remote server for the first time. Now this is a very specific scenario but what might happen is that you have set up a server remotely for example in the cloud or some or a dedicated server somewhere and it's running Windows and uh, someone will have set up the username and password for you out of the box like administrator password 12345 and uh, you want to make that first remote desktop connection and then you'll get an error saying well you need to reset your password and then you're sitting there thinking yeah I know but I can't make a connection to the server so I can't reset it so you're kind of stuck you know and to solve the problem you need to make a specific change to the remote desktop application or how you try to make a connection to the server we have to make sure that you can connect to the server before it is checking your credentials and I'm going to show you how to do exactly that I assume that you know how to make a remote desktop connection but in case you don't I will show it to you we're going to switch to the desktop so you don't have to see my face in your face what we're going to do is click the search and then type RDP um, in my case it says verbinding met externe bureaublad that's because I'm Dutch well I'm Belgian but I speak Dutch in your case it may say something like connect to remote desktop whatever it says um, just click the result and then what we're going to do is enter the IP address of the server like one I'm just going to give an example this is not an actual IP address one two three four but instead of making that connection which won't work we're going to go to the advanced settings I'm not sure how it will be named in your case but click that option on the bottom and that will give you the option to save your connection down below there will be an option that says something about saving the, it as an RDP file and if you click this option save as you can save it as whatever you want it will depend on the server name just give it a name dot RDP and save it somewhere and the reason this is important is because we have to edit that file and to edit that file we're going to open the file we're going to find our file in my case it's on the desktop this file over here Hetzner server RDP that's where my thing is my server is located and what you want to do is don't open it yet also don't don't click edit because that will open RDP again we have to open a text editor the editor of your choice I have a few options I'm going to open it with code but you can also open it with notepad okay once we've opened the RDP file we go all the way to the bottom and under the last line you have to add this line this says enable cred SPS support once you add this line save the file just save it under the same name doesn't really matter you won't have this line in your document by the way I'm ju I just have the line there because I'm showing it to you you will have to edit yourself once that is saved the file you can then double click on the the icon the RTP file and it will then try to establish a connection and it will probably ask you for a username and a password and this time it will make a connection to the server first and then ask you to enter the user and the password and because you made that connection to the server the remote desktop server connection is established you can then actually reset the password and that solves your problem so and that's once that's done you can start using the server you won't have any problems anymore you can leave the line in the RTP file or you can remove it or you can just delete the RTP file and make a connection by just typing the IP address it's completely up to you so to summarize what you have to do it's really simple 
um, open RDP or remote desktop or whatever it's called in your language, then save a file, give it the name and the place where you can find it, and then edit that file in a text editor, go all the way to the bottom, and then enter that command that you saw in the video, save the file, and try making the connection again by clicking the file, and then you should be able to log in. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel and share the video with anyone who might need it. We are a channel that focuses on solving technology problems and reviewing products. And I'm sure we'll make a video that you'll like again in the future. We'll see you then. Bye.